Who do you see today? Who's in there? Oh, hi. Who? Button said he saw Gracie. Anybody else? It's in there. He said, tell me again. Carter? Look again. It's Jolene. All right. Hi there, Jolene. I'm glad to see you're here. All right, boys and girls. Today, we are going to do, I'm going to put our special mirror away. We don't need that for our craft. But our craft today, do you know what it is? You do? Okay. Can you show me? Oh, it's a hug. We're going to make a hug. Can you make a hug? I think you can, if you have two arms, you can make a hug. <gasps> oh no, Buttons can't make a hug very well. He doesn't have two arms, does he? But he can just lean against me and we'll give him a hug. Okay, you're right, we did read a story. Our story over here is Cooper's Big Bear Hug. That was a good story. So, I think, do you think we're gonna make a bear? I don't know. Buttons, do you want to look into our craft box? You do? Okay. Let's see what is in here today. Okay. Ah, ah, whoa. Is there a lot in there? There is. Too much? No, not too much. Oh, he just keeps thinking it's a lot. Okay, come on, Buttons. Let's lift this up. Phew. All right, he said there's a lot in there. Are you sure? You're sure? Okay, let's see what you have today. Oh, what is this? A big piece of ribbon. I wonder what we're gonna do with this big piece of ribbon. Okay, what else do you have for us, Buttons? A piece of heavier paper. I call it cardstock. We've got paper, another piece of paper. There's lots of paper in here. There's another piece of paper. This has writing on. This has a little poem on. I'll tell you what it says later. All right, another piece of paper. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Buttons, can you tell me what that is? No, why not? Oh, you have something in your mouth and you can't talk with something in your mouth. What is it? Is it a paper? with hearts on, okay? So we've got a heart, a couple other pieces of paper. Guess what? You're right, boys and girls. More paper. Maybe Buttons is going to floss his teeth with that paper. No. All right. And another piece of paper, but this one is a special paper. <gasps> it's a piece of paper. In the shape of a bear. And what was our story? Cooper's big bear hug. So here is a bear. All right. What else is in here? Uh huh. Pencil. We need a pencil to draw something. Oh, what's Button's favorite thing? His glue stick. All right. Glue stick. Oh, what's this other? Safety, safety, scissors. We need scissors, anything else in here? Oh, this is heavy. Okay, a big bag of markers. Maybe we're going to make a quilt, color all those fabrics with colors. I don't know. So we've got markers, glue stick, scissors, pencil, all sorts of paper. Are you ready for the finished product? You are? Okay. All right, Buttons, you pull it out. Okay. Da, 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 da. <gasps> what is this? It is our bear. And he has two very long arms with hands on. And there's a heart. And what did we say a heart reminds us of? Love, that's right. There's his face. So if you put your 
arms around somebody and give them a squeeze, what are you going to give them? All your love. That's right. And on the back, it has our poem. Let's see what it says. It says, you are a special someone I care about today. I want to show you just how much in this extra special way. Wrap my hands around your neck. Give the bear a hug. Close your eyes and think of me and you will feel my love. So buttons, if you help, if we put one hand this way and the other hand, you help me do it. Okay, flop over. <sighs> Then if the person you give this to squeezes it, they're going to feel your love. So we're going to make, you're right, a bear hug, a big bear hug. Oh, this is going to be fun, boys and girls. All right, Buttons, let's place this over here on our hanger. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bear, I don't mean to pinch your ears. There we go. He's going to be over there. Buttons, I'm sorry, but I really need both of my hands today. Will you sit over here? Or do you want to take a nap? Are you tired? You want to take a nap? Okay. He said he wants to take a nap. So we're going to put him back in the craft box. He likes to sleep in there because it gets really dark. And he says it's quiet in there. All right, boys and girls. Are you ready? I'm ready. So... All of our things, and I need to tilt this down so you can see. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take your bear. All right, and I want you to color the bear's head and his feet and this little area right there and this little area right there. But don't do, it looks like railroad tracks. Do you see that? It kind of looks like the railroad tracks. You don't want to color there, okay? So I'm just going to color a little bit to remind you of where to color. What color should I make my bear? Do you think I should do it brown? I made my other one brown. I found my brown marker. So I'm going to color while you're here. I'm going to color his nose brown. How many brown bears have you ever met? Did any of you ever meet a brown bear? I don't know if I ever did. Maybe I think there was somebody who brought a bear to our church one time and it was in a cage. They, I don't know if they were tracking it or if they rescued it, but they do look very cuddly. And teddy bears are definitely cuddly. Okay, I colored his nose. So I will color his face and color his ears. And then don't forget to color his feet too. Okay, but I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me color all those. Now the other places that I want you to color is around what I call his sweater. Oh, I can't get the color that I was after. I was after orange. So I was going to color the top part of his sweater. This would be his neckline. And the bottom is his waistline. And I have a sweater on today. See how I have a ribbing around it? This bear has one around his two. So he has one around the top and one around the bottom. I want you to color all of those stripes in there. I'm gonna, I used a little orange. I'm gonna put a little bit of purple just to show you the top and the bottom again. Okay, we don't have to do that center one. All right, boys and girls, so I've got that. So you're going to color all of this stripe and all of this stripe. All right, you got that? Now, we're gonna set that to the side. Well, actually, we are gonna do one more thing first. We're gonna finish his sweater. We'll just continue on with his sweater. So I want you to take your little strips of paper. 
you've got some skinny strips and you have some wider strips. I've got some pink, green, purple. Now what I'll show you on my finished product, I cut my wider strips into little squares so I could make checkers. And that's what I'll show you. I'll do that now. So I'm going to take my scissors and actually I can cut all three colors at one time and I'm just going to cut them into little squares. All right, you see what I did? I have little squares now. So I'm going to put some glue right in this section here. I'll take my good old glue stick, Button's favorite thing, and I'm going to put some glue on that white area in the center of his sweater. So I have the glue on. Now I'm going to take my squares and I'm going to make a pattern and cover up all of my sweater. Okay? Can you do that, boys and girls? You can cut circles, you could cut squares, whatever you would like to do. But there's just an idea of what I was doing. And then what I did with my other bear, after I had my squares down, I took my big long green strips and I went right across through here. And I put it right across there and see how it's too long? If you line it up, then you can cut this off and it'll be just right. So I'm going to glue part of that down so you can see. And I did two stripes on my other one. I'll do two stripes on this one. There is a lot of gluing today. All right, so now I have two stripes. Whoops, this one's too long. I've got to trim it. So there we go. So you're gonna finish all his sweater. He's colored. He's all set to go. We're gonna set him aside. One more thing for him, and I can't see you, can I? I want you to cut out one of these parts. I gave you two in your packet that you will pick up at the Her Library. You can pick up your craft packet. And there are actually enough supplies in there for you to make two bear hugs. Because I thought it would be fun if you could make one to send to somebody who's been very lonely with our COVID there are some people like in nursing homes and different facilities that can't have visitors. But if you would send this, you could give them a hug and I bet they would smile. Now what I want you to do is put glue on the back of your heart. And you should have all your checkers on. We're pretending that you do have all your checkers. We're pretending that I do and you're going to put that heart right on his belly, okay? Now we're gonna set it aside. I was a step ahead of myself. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do is, let's see, we're gonna take this big piece of ribbon. This is a long piece of ribbon, isn't it? You're gonna make arms for the bear. I want you, I gave you a lot of it. So hopefully it will be enough. What I want you to do is to take one end in your one hand and then stretch your arms out till you can reach the other end, okay? So I'm calling it your arm span. Now I'm not gonna do that because my arms are way too big and this would be a little large for my bear. So I'm gonna pretend I have a smaller arm span. And I'm gonna cut my ribbon right about here. Okay, now I'll have another piece for my second bear. 
Now we're going to take and flip over our bear and right in the center of his back, right about here, it's just going right through the center of his back, we are going to glue down our ribbon. So I'm going to take my glue stick, boys and girls, and I am going to make a stripe the whole length of his back. Okay, the width, I should say. And I'm going to put the ribbon down. Now, if you have some scotch tape at home, that would be excellent to do. See how I did that? I put the ribbon across it. But if you have scotch tape, that's an extra support. And you can put a piece of tape right across here and right across there, all right, on both sides. That's going to help it stay nice and secure. So we've got, these are our arms, all right? They're very skinny arms. But we're gonna let that glue dry. And while that glue is drying, we're going to take our poem. Now, if you look at this, this is a little cattywampus. It's not cut correctly. So I want you to take your edges, take your poem, and cut some of those edges off. You wanna just cut it around the frame. It looks like a little picture frame. So we're gonna cut it a little closer, and there, now it's all even. Doesn't that look a little bit cleaner? Okay. We're gonna put glue, good old glue, all over the back of this yellow poem, the one that is telling them to put their arms around their neck, around their back. There we go. So I have glue all over that. Now I'm going to put it on top, lay it on top of the ribbon. Do you see what I did, boys and girls? There we go. So that is on the back of our bear. Good job. Yes, this is a fun project. Now we're gonna set this aside. Now you may need some help for this. Here's this plain piece of, this piece is blue. You're going to either get blue or green in your packet. I need somebody to help you, or you can do it yourself. Maybe you're able, you're old enough. And I need you to trace, to draw, trace your hands on this paper. Now my hand is a little big, so I'm improvising. I'm going to make two hands that way. And then I need to draw the other hand. But I'm going to do something today. I'm going to cut two at one time to save us some time. All right, so you can see, can you see there how I have it traced? Oh, there's such a glare. But I have my hand traced. You're going to cut them out. You need two because you have a right and you have a left hand. There are some people who might be missing a finger. I know a man who he had an accident with a saw and he doesn't have all of his fingers. You have to be careful when you're working, boys and girls. You remind your moms and dad if they're ever doing work like that to be careful because you want all their fingers because you want lots of big bear hugs. All right, so I'm down to my last finger, my pinky finger. That's what we call it. All right, does that look like a hand? So here are two hands, right and left hands. All right, now I've got to move all of my scrap papers to the side, and here comes my bear back. Remember, here are his arms. So we're going to take the one hand, we're gonna lay it down. We need to put some glue on the ribbon. Well, we can put it on his hand. And we're gonna lay the ribbon right there in the palm of his hand, okay? Again, boys and girls, if you have scotch tape, if you wanna put tape on it, 
You can do that too. It'll give it a little more reinforcement. There we go. There. Okay. So I have one hand done. Now I'm going to slide over the other one. And when you lay it down, you want to have your thumbs up because when you put your arm out, your thumb is up in the air. So you're going to have your thumb up. I need to put some glue right in the center line there. And I'm going to stick my ribbon on there. Push really hard. See if I can get that to stay. All right. All right, boys and girls. Let's see if this worked. So here's my heart. And if I put this hand over and this hand over, you can even put your fingers together and you can hide the heart. And you can give this away, boys and girls. You could hand it to somebody and you can say, I have some love for you. You could Put it in a large envelope and you could mail it to somebody, like I said earlier, who's been lonely and who hasn't been able to get a hug from their family in a, quite a while. Wouldn't that be fun? You could share and send some of your love. So there you have it, boys and girls. This isn't Cooper, this is you because the arms are as long as yours and the hands are the same size as yours. So they can just take their bear and wrap their hands, their arms around. And remember what our poem says, close your eyes and think of me, of all of the love that I'm sending you. Okay? So boys and girls, I hope you had fun making your bear hug. I sure did. And I was thinking of you as I was making it, just hoping that you can send your love too. All right, so don't forget, you can come get your packets at the Her Library. You'll be able to make two, one for maybe somebody in your household, and then one for maybe a neighbor. Maybe there's a neighbor that could really use a hug. That's a little bit sad, and hugs always make you smile. They bring and put a smile on your face. So for now, boys and girls, I'm going to say bye. Oh. Who am I forgetting? You're right. Buttons. Do you think he's awake? Should I not? I don't know. Oh, he's still sleeping. Oh, I don't know. Buttons, come on. Come on, the boys and girls are leaving. Oh, oh cover your mouth when you yawn. All right. Okay. Oh, there he is. Do you want to say goodbye to the boys and girls? Okay. Oh, you seem very sleepy. Yeah, he, he wants to go back to sleep. Okay, Buttons, I'll give you a hug and you can go to sleep, all right? So I'll see you next week, boys and girls. Remember, be kind. <laughs>